morning guys and welcome to another video by Channel Vegan and Frodo. We are delivering here from Streets of Brisbane. <laughs> Today I want to talk to you about something that I've just recently thought of, thought of yesterday really, is uh, the importance of allowing other people to enter your life and importance of allowing yourself to share your life with others. So the thing sometimes that happens in our lives is that something happens when we're younger and we're kids and something went on and we like we were bullied or we were just mistreated by someone or like a family member or whatever and sometimes we haven't dealt with it or we didn't know how to deal with it for many many years in a row so as grown-ups or like we're going through pretty bad breakups so then later down in life we sometimes feel like oh it's easier not to have people in my life it's easier just not to share these things it's easier not to tell anyone about what I'm doing just because I can just do my thing and no one knows and no one can influence it or make me feel bad about it or try and do this or that or talk me out of it and something along those lines but the cool thing that we gotta remember is that together we're stronger especially if we are working towards the same goal together if you find people who are on the same wavelength if you find people that have the same mindset as you that value the same things in life as you have the same ethics and morals it's it's incredible the life can be just that much more fun and you will get a lot more done and if you have a big global beautiful purpose um, sorry my hair's a bit of a mess uh, <laughs> You'll, you'll be able to accomplish that big beautiful purpose, a goal for the world, much faster. It's like if I was trying to clean up the oceans all by myself. It would be a pretty big mission and I don't even know if that would be possible. But if I was to get a bunch of people to help me clean the oceans and then that bunch of people would bring another couple of friends each and then that bunch of people will bring another couple like those two couple of friends will bring another couple of friends and then it just grows exponentially and we can all work together towards a bigger greater purpose the reality is something that may have happened or upset you or caused you pain in the past does not mean that that is the definition of all human interactions that will be sometimes it takes time to deal with it it takes time to work through it let go of it and understand that what others try sometimes people which don't have good intentions right like in regards to like bullying or whatever like if people don't have a good intention towards you they're not going to you you have two options right like you're not gonna try you can't physically change someone that's outside of yourself. What you can change or increase control is the reaction that you have to whatever it is that you're being exposed to. So you can believe this person that's telling you that you're X, Y, Z, or you can know within yourself what is it and who you are and what is it that you are, and you stand strong with that. You can blend in a little bit if you like, if it makes life just a little bit easier. But remain an individual, remain yourself, remain different. As you know, the, the popular line says, everybody else is already taken, so you might as well just be yourself, be the best version of yourself. And it's really funny actually that I'm talking about this. I um, I went to a musical last night called Kinky Boots, and it was pretty cool. Like, like I really liked it, I had fun with it. And, <laughs> and it's just, yeah, like about, couple of guys basically struggling with what they want to do in life and who they want to be and their family is not approving of who they are and there's some other so so social kind of mm, judgment social judgment because one of the guys was like a trans he decided that he wanted to wear female clothes but anyway it's just all sorts of things like that when you realize, oh, there's like another story I wanted to tell you, man. Like, I wanted to talk on this subject for a while, but I'm weary of how long this video can actually turn out to be. So when I, um, I went to this leadership camp, uh, when was it? Like a year and a half ago, when I went as a participant, right? Participated in this leadership camp. And uh, what we had, we had this exercise where there was this log, big log, in between two trees. And uh, that thing, was definitely higher than I was, the log was. Like the 
how high it was between those trees. So I would have in no way, shape or form, been able to jump over it, climb over it, like maybe if I climbed the extra tree, but there are no branches, nothing like that, on the stem of the tree. So the only way to get up it and over it, because the goal was you'd have like a 10, 12 people team, and the goal was to go around that uh, log that was in between the trees. And that log was much higher than anyone else, like anyone in the group. So obviously like you needed someone's help, someone else's help to get you over it. And at the same time, like people are different weights and people are different physical and fitness abilities, right? So some people are able to do pull-ups, some people are not. And you know, some people are fit, some people are not as fit and all that kind of stuff. So I was very confident and very encouraging of other team members and happy to help in any way possible when it came like when they were doing the slog thing and that was like absolutely fine and no issues whatsoever but when my turn came um, I was reasonably fit but I haven't been doing that many weights so like back in the day I used to do bodybuilding so lifting something like 70 kilos was no issues at all but because I stopped doing that a few years back uh, I haven't lifted 70 kilograms in a long time so I was just like oh my god how am I gonna lift myself <laughs> at this thing and the most incredible thing happened like the team lifted me up right like to get to the right height so I can grab my arms around this log and I kind of hugged it I grabbed it but in order to get the butt and the legs around it I was like oh my goodness how am I gonna do this and I struggled and I tried and it was yeah I was yeah <laughs> and then the most amazing thing happened the people the team of 10 people that were at the bottom especially like the guys who were obviously taller than the girls right and stronger they literally gave me a physical push and I thought that was like the coolest the most amazing thing ever because you're not alone <laughs> whatever you're doing you're not alone you're not by yourself if you let yourself being helped if you open your heart and you open your life and you just let others in you'll be surprised what you can accomplish and to me like that push was just the most beautiful thing ever because I for I mean I have friends I've had friends and I've been social and all that stuff but like just to really trust someone that much maybe someone that you haven't even known for very long or like a bunch of people that you had like in the past a different experience with in camps or at school or wherever on that kind of level I don't know it was incredible to me like seriously like I was just like Wow, like, I almost like cried. <laughs> as stupid as that. Um, but there's so many things that have been happening to me over the last like year and a half, couple of years, which have been like just a clear, straight up indication that if you let others in, if you allow yourself to trust people, and I'm not saying like be naive or be silly, right? Be stupid. But if you really just open your heart and speak from it, speak with kindness, you're only going to attract like, the most beautiful, incredible things in your life. And if you're honest, if you use your intuition and your judgment, if you trust yourself to make good decisions, but also trust the people that are around you to want to help you, to want to be in your life, to want to be alone on your mission and help you with your mission. I feel like that's just the most beautiful thing because amazing things can happen and it's not just you making those amazing things happen but you have help so then the amazing things can multiply they can be magnified and they can be done faster <laughs> if you know what I mean especially when we're trying to save the world and make it a better place okay I should stop ranting on this it's been almost 10 minutes on this video but I hope you got a message go hope you heard me don't be afraid <sighs> to let others in and share your life and allow others to help you 
you don't have to do it all alone just because you have had some bad experience with someone or something or even experience after experience after experience it does not mean that that is the definition of the interactions you're going to have with people that that is the definition of what will happen in the future just because someone bullied you or mistreated you or been very mean to you does not mean that that it's gonna go the same way every time. Remember who you are, remember staying true to yourself, remember to loving yourself and appreciating yourself for what you are. <laughs> I don't allow people be your friends, allow people in if you see the legitimate genuine interest. Okay, I'll leave you with that. Hope you're having a beautiful, wonderful day and enjoying whatever it is that you're doing. Let's love to you guys. See you again soon. Bye.